I'm joined by UTEP head football coach Dan Dimlin. And coach, where do we even begin after Jeez. that game on Saturday? Uh, the walk-off field goal from Gavin Beckley. Yes. When he went out there, what were you thinking? Did you think he had it nailed? You know, you don't ever want to take anything for granted, but I felt pretty confident. And then when he, when they called timeout and he was smart enough to get the kick and the snap and put, him, put one through like that, I said, okay, he's got the angle figured out right now. He likes it from the right hash. Lord willing, we felt good about that one. <laughs> it was kind of just a crazy game. I mean, you had that moment to finish it. I mean, <clears> the the extra point that ended up being re-kicked again that we're now finding out uh, shouldn't have been allowed to be re-kicked. There were so many moments, but yes. through it all, your team managed to handle the adversity and go out there and get the win. What does that say about this team? Right yeah, now? it says a lot about where our team is, what we're able to do, and just hang into what we're doing. And as a coach, you know there's always going to be ups and downs in every game, and it's so important to get into their mindset, the 1-0 and concept that we talk about. It's critical, and I think they really had it last week and was really proud of what they did. You talk about that 1-0 mindset, and I imagine that's incredibly important now because for two reasons. I mean, two more games, if you win those, you become bowl eligible. And then on top of that, after such a euphoric win like this one, to try and turn that off and, and look ahead, how are you kind of keeping everyone focused on just that 1-0 mentality? Yeah, it's a, it's a big thing that we have to do. we got to enjoy the victory. got to appreciate what we did. It, it helped us grow as a football team. But we got to get on and really have some really good practices and have our best preparation yet because every game becomes more and more important for this football team. Middle Tennessee, uh, they beat Miami on the road and then they've lost their last three. Uh -huh. What do you kind of take away from this team as you get to face Yeah, them? I mean, Rachel, you look at them and you see that performance they put out against Miami and Miami's having a very solid year. You know, they can play at a very high level and they got very good athletes and create big plays. They create a lot of turnovers on defense, which always worries you. So there's a lot to worry about them because they do do some really good things that we have to prepare for. What are the keys then to, to getting yeah. this win? The keys to us is protect the football because when we protect the football, we're a pretty good football team. When we do the things we do, run the ball, use our uh, play action pass a game and then protect the ball and let our, you know, keep our defense off the field, right? And let our defense play uh, like they play. We're a really good football team. So that's what we got to do in this game, but it's not going to be easy because of all the things we talked about. You look at kind of this team and, and we've seen some great finishes from you guys to, to get some really close wins under your belt. The start, though, is it's been a little worrying. Yeah. I mean, 20 points in the first quarter over eight games. That's How do crazy. you change that? Yeah, that's crazy numbers, you know. And uh, at least we played really good defense this week, and we did control the ball. But we started off very slow again, you know, with our first drive and then punting the ball, giving them great field position. So we just got to, you know, come out and really, you know, have a good plan for early in the game and then execute that plan and get a lead you know, a good sized lead on somebody one time, it would feel really good for all of us that support the minors, including myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure everyone who's going to go out to that game on Saturday is hoping they can see a nice quick lead and then, yes. then just continue that all the way. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. UTEP taking on Middle Tennessee this Saturday at 7 p.m. at the Sun Bowl. Uh, hopefully you can get out there. I know you guys have some good deals right we now. We do. Yeah, we got some ticket sales. We got some Halloween things going on this weekend and got a team that plays really well at home. We got to keep that going. All right, we continue with that ABC 7 first floor. Actually, we just issued it.